Hello friends, my name is Hassan Nafid. I want to teach you about the skull tonight. The skull is one of the bones in our body that perform an important function. Every one of us has a skull. It is also known as the cranium. The skull is the bone that has eight pores and the cranial part and 14 pieces and the facial part. If you take a look at the skull here, this is a human skull. This is what you know as the facial bones and the rest of the skull is known as the cranial bones. The skull is the house of the brain. Look at the brain here in this model. This is a human brain and this is a model of human face. It's a glass one, it's transparent, so it shows exactly what we're talking about. So here is our brain and it's living or exists inside the skull which is also, we said, known as the cranium. The skull has flat bones and also it does have irregular bones. Let's take a look at the flat bones first. They have names. And the front, take a look at that. This is known as the frontal bone. And on the side, you're going to find the temporal bone and parietal bones. I'm going to show you these here. Temporal and parietal bones. In the back, you will find our occipital bone. This is in the back of the skull let's move and see the facial bones we said there is 14 facial bones there are small bones this is known as the zygomatic bone or the cheekbone if you look at it here this is your cheekbone give you some light here so you can take a look at it the cheekbone Right there. This our this is our maxillary bone. And this is known as the maxilla. This is the nose. This is known as the nasal bone. Of course, the soft part that it sticks out is gone here because you can't you cannot find it in a dead body or in a skeleton. This is the part that makes our nice nose. And it is a cartilage and it's not a bone which is a soft tissue if you take a look on the bottom here this is a jaw and the jaw is known as the mandible look at it it's got about a little funny shape doesn't it this is the mandible and you take a look the eye in the eye there is about five bones that forms the area of the eye we have the nasal bone we have the lacrimal bone we have the sphenoid bone and we have the ethmoid bone if you take a look at the top of the skull you see these lines hope they're clear let me just put some light here so they look a little clear these lines follow one is here and one in the back these are known as sutures this is known as the 
lambdoid suture and this is known as the sagittal suture and if you look at the front this is the coronal suture it runs across from right to left you see it while the sagittal suture runs from front to back these sutures were movable joints that means they were joints that move when we were babies it used to move but when we become adults we don't need them anymore that's why they close and become very tight to protect the brain let me open the skull and show you us inside what you call the cranial cavity in the cranial cavity as we said we find the brain so if this is a brain take it from the other glass skull and I'm going to put it here to show you how it fits approximately so what happens the brain sits right in there and does some look at that and if we covered it it's gonna go back and become very nice head look at that that's what it looks like to you see sorry about that anyways this is what you call the cranial cavity i'm gonna put this back in there and show you what is in there inside the cranial cavity there is areas that holds the brain this is a frontal fossa or depression it's a shallow area that can hold the brain the frontal part of the brain or the frontal lobe this is the middle cranial fossa so we got frontal middle and posterior and you see that hole in the middle don't you this hole is known as the foramen magnum and the foramen magnum is that big opening which transmit the spinal cord so look at that spinal cord leaves through it and supply the rest of the body inside here there is more parts that are seen there is bones that we did not see clear enough on the exterior or on the outside this is our ethmoid bone this is a sphenoid bone look at it looks like got a bat wing appearance or a bat shape see sphenoid bones and here this depression this is a very famous area we call it cella torsica and that's where you find your pituitary gland and the back here look at these two nice depressions they're very symmetrical a little smaller these holds the cerebellum and the cerebellum is that part of the brain which is responsible for balance and coordination so the skull is an important bone that keeps our brain safe and it also represents an entry if you see here for our respiratory system through the nasal cavity the nose and through the mouth see if i open it this is the opening of the mouth and the mouth is the entry to our digestive system so the skull is performing many important functions to our body thank you for watching this video and i hope to see you another in another video of our educational anatomy and physiology sessions thank you